What is that noise? Why do they make that sound? Why is it special? Why is it so loud? Parents, grandparents, anyone who spends time with kids, you know they love to ask questions. Why, why, why? That's a favorite. Well, over the next couple weeks, you're going to be hearing a lot of questions about that sound, the sound cicadas make. Today, wildlife biologist Aaron Shank joins us to turn the rare periodical cicada emergence into a great day for kids. Thanks to our great sponsors at the Magic House. Aaron, thanks so much for being yeah, here. Thanks for having me. So we are talking about uh, a different group of cicadas than those that we hear every summer. What makes them different? Yeah, so the cicadas that are about to come out are 13 year periodical cicadas. So they only come out every 13 years as opposed to our annual cicadas that we see every summer around July. And we're not talking about just like a few more, even a, a couple thousand more. We're talking about billions of these things? Yes, there will be billions of them emerging very soon possibly even this week in the St. Louis area. So this is a perfect time to get this knowledge, prepare yourself for all those questions the kids are going to be asking because you're talking today, tomorrow, this weekend, we're going to start hearing this. Right. Once the soil temperature about eight inches down reaches 64 degrees, these critters come out and they shed their last exoskeleton or shell and they become adults and that's when they start singing very very loud in great abundance. So give us some tools that we can use when explaining the cicadas to kids. What are some activities I guess that we can use sure. them for? Well these cicadas are 13 years old which is just neat in and of itself. Most insects don't live near that long so these cicadas are older than many of our kids. Um, I like to think that this class of 2024 about to graduate from high school, uh, they were preparing for kindergarten when these cicadas were born. So that's a pretty How neat about fact. that fun fact? You can tell the kids that sound you're hearing, that bug, that bug is older than you are. That's right, yep. And so um, some of the neat things to do with kids with cicadas is, is really just catch them. Um, they're completely harmless. They do not sting, they do not bite. Um, they're actually pretty dopey flyers. Um, and so they're pretty easy to catch and there's no harm that can come to you. They're not toxic um, or anything like that from catching them. So kids love to pick up things and explore and between the shells and the insects themselves. Um, they can explore all of that. I really appreciate that encouragement, even though we find them ick, and for no particular reason, kids can maybe put them in that little butterfly catcher to inspect. They should definitely, yes, yeah. and watch them emerge from their shells. Uh, that's a really neat process to see them really growing up before your eyes. Another activity she recommended is getting out that free decibel app on your phone, download one for free, and just see how loud they are. Yeah, so things are gonna get very loud. Uh, it's the heat and the sun of summer really makes them sing, those males. Um, so on a hot sunny day, you can take that decibel reader out and see how loud they really are. They're gonna be a lot quieter also earlier in the morning, later in the evening, or on cool cloudy afternoons. And just kind of comparing that um, is an interesting activity to do with kids. Erin with the Missouri Department of Conservation, such great ideas to make this historical emergence a great day for kids. Thanks so much for joining us. Very fun. And for more information, those ideas as well, you can find this segment on firstlert4.com. Uh, great day, a uh, slash great day following the show. Kent? Thank you, ma'am. Are you going to pick up a cicada? <laughs> Collect them. Maybe yeah. not. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll think back to this segment and mm -hmm. think I was prepared. The, uh, the whole comparison with this 12-year-old uh, the age thing is right. a little mind boggling. And so, years old. if yeah. you're talking to a 13 year old, you could tell them the next time this brood of cicadas emerges, they'll be 26. Yeah. They could be married well, by Well, I have then. a 13 year old. And yep. that's the first thing I thought of when you said that. It was so that, they're, the, that's... they're the same age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, ladies.